Hey there! In today's video, we're talking about how you can get sharp photos and videos with your Sandmark telephoto lens. A telephoto lens is a long focus lens that makes a photographic subject appear closer than it actually is. By attaching it to your iPhone, you can achieve an up-close shot of your subject. From portrait photography to wildlife videography, this lens is extremely popular among creators. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your iPhone camera and your lens are free of any smudges or debris. This is super easy because every lens kit actually comes with a microfiber cloth that you can use to clean off the surfaces. So you just want to do small circular motions over the lens of the camera, just making sure you wipe off anything that could hinder the focus of the camera. And then you're going to do the same thing with the lens, making sure you do the front and then also the back. So the next step is to attach your Sandmark case to your iPhone. Just simply press securely and make sure that it's flush with the camera lens right here. When attaching the Sandmark lens to your iPhone, you're gonna make sure that it's properly threaded onto the camera mount of the case right here. The specialized camera mount on the case perfectly aligns with the iPhone lens, creating clean, crisp images. So make sure that you press deeply into the mount and then screw on till it's pretty tight and you can feel that it's secure. Sometimes it's gonna take a couple times for it to thread correctly, and that's totally fine. You're gonna press it right there evenly, and you can feel it kind of lock into the threading. Just do it until you can really feel that it's evenly distributed and just really tight, and it's not wobbling, and it's not like wonky. If you're getting double vision, or blurry images, we recommend you reattaching the lens until it is properly mounted. So once your telephoto lens is securely on your iPhone, you're ready to shoot. So what we're gonna have to focus on is making sure we shoot somewhere where it's not too sunny and not too bright. Yes, we have features on the phone that are gonna let you overexpose or underexpose your image, but it can only do so much. So here's an example of shooting like too, somewhere too bright. Shoot kind of like directly into the sun. This is gonna be bad because your phone's not gonna be able to pick up the amount of detail because it's gonna be too bright. Another tip is making sure that your photo is properly lit. This is going to significantly help your camera pick up details and contrast which are essential for sharp photos. To get sharp pictures and video on the native iPhone camera app when using the wide lens with the telephoto, we have a few steps to follow. One, tap to focus. To focus on a specific object, tap on the object on the screen. A yellow square will appear around the subject to indicate what is in focus. 2. Swipe up and down to adjust exposure. You can also adjust the exposure by swiping left or right on the exposure dial while in camera mode. This will make the image brighter or darker. Three, Use the AE slash AF lock feature. You can also lock the focus and exposure by tapping and holding on the object you want to focus on until the yellow box appears. Then swipe up or down to adjust the exposure. The focus and exposure will stay locked until you tap on the screen again. Four, use portrait mode. If you have an iPhone with a dual lens camera system, you can use portrait mode to create a blurred background effect. This mode will automatically focus on the subject in the foreground and blur the background. When using the telephoto lens with the 3X iPhone camera, 
Using a tripod will greatly help when shooting. Because it is a magnified image, your hand's movements will greatly be exaggerated. For sharp images, you need the camera to be still, like this. When using the iPhone's 3X camera, you will experience blackouts. Since the iPhone does not treat each camera independently, we recommend you shooting on an iPhone app such as Pro Camera, Lightroom, and Filmic Pro. These apps will give you more control over your exposure, shutter speed, ISO, and white balance while shooting. And more importantly, helping you focus the camera through the lens. Here are some other examples that were shot on a Sandmark telephoto lens and iPhone. So there you go. We hope these tips and tricks were helpful for you and make sure to subscribe for more content like this coming soon to our YouTube channel. Be sure to comment below on the other tips you'd like to see from us as well. Happy shooting.